Hi everybody, it is me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles luxury realtor. Today we're gonna to be discussing the area of Mar Vista. So, before we get into the meat of things, I just wanna ask you to take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button below, as well as the bell for updates, and I'll be right back and we're gonna jump right into Mar Vista. Hi everyone, it's me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles luxury realtor. Today we're gonna to be discussing the area in the city of Los Angeles known as Mar Vista. Now Mar Vista is part of the city of Los Angeles and it's on the west side. But truthfully, Mar Vista's borders has always been a little blurred for those that live on the west side. There kind of is like this blurry line between Mar Vista, Palms, and Culver City. So we're gonna do our best to help you understand exactly where it's located and to really give you a little bit of understanding. It's bordered by um, Palms on the northeast side. It's bordered by Culver City on the east and southeast. Venice is to the west and Santa Monica is to the northwest. It's a small little pocket. Now, Mar Vista has always been a quiet, laid back area, right? But with the development of Silicon Beach, that has brought a whole influx of restaurants, um, trendy shopping, boutiques, and really a bunch of residential development. Mar Vista has truly seen a transformation. Now, one, I shouldn't say one, but most of Mar Vista's dinings and small restaurants, and I mean, there's some really great ones, they're all lined up along Venice Boulevard. Now, back in the days when most of Southern California was farmland, Mar Vista was a blooming area for um, lima beans, and it had amazing views of the Pacific Ocean. Now, location is truly what helped Mar Vista grow, as well as the fact that there was a short-lived um, Venice short line trolley, which shuttled people from downtown Los Angeles all the way to Ocean Park um, Heights. And so this really helped cause the rapid development of both Santa Monica Beach and Venice Beach and subsequently Mar Vista. By 1927, this area became annexed and it got its name Mar Vista from the trolley. Now, we're gonna kind of go over the development of Mar Vista, which has some mid-century roots as well, which obviously if you've been watching any of my videos, you know I'm very excited by mid-century modern architecture. So. The Mar Vista track was designed by mid-century modern architect Gregory Ann, and it's a 52 home development that was aimed to infuse like post-war housing for the new middle class. So you have to remember after the war, there, there was a rise in the middle class after such a long depression. Now, Ann had worked with the development of Joseph Johnson and Alfred Day, and this area was built and completed by 1948. The development was originally supposed to be 100 homes on 60 acres, but only the first stage was completed due to the FHA skepticism of modern design. Go figure, the government didn't think people would like it. Mm, sound familiar? Um, but so the track was initially marketed as mod Modernique Home Developments. Now this track was so uniquely developed, aimed, worked with landscape architect Garrett Ikebo, who envisioned a park-like setting amongst the homes. In Southern California, most, almost all areas, not every single part of the city of Los Angeles, but when you look at Southern California as a whole, Los Angeles, Orange County, homes are divided by walls. We don't have like open yards. But what this landscape architect envisioned for this particular neighborhood was basically open yards. What he wanted to do was separate the homes by using trees and plants to create both a lush landscape and as well as kind of cause um, there to be, let me explain this. He decided on each home to plant certain fruit trees, not the same on every home. He wanted there to be a variety so that the neighbors would have reason to communicate, talk to each other, get to know one, each other, one another and share because really and truly, almost nobody can eat all the fruit from a fruit tree. Brilliant. One of the things that is so exciting about this mid-century modern neighborhood is that it is still standing today. In fact, um, in, 2003, Mar Vista Track was the first designated historic district in the city of Los Angeles. 
Now I know some of you might be watching this like from the East Coast where you have a lot of historic areas and we actually in historic societies, AKA the historical, I'm sorry, the hysterical societies because they never let you do anything, which we've been so fortunate here in Southern California not to really have, but this area really did get dubbed a historic district. It is a great place to take a drive through and really kind of see what that era had. Now, the current owners of the homes in this area, they really are passionate about mid-century modern design. And so they really work actively to restore their homes to the original beauty, if you will. And they put a lot of pride in, the, in, in bringing back this vibrant neighborhood of mid-century modern homes. Mar Vista has a, a full recreational center that has a pool, um, hockey rink, it's got basketball courts, um, baseball fields, soccer fields, volleyball courts. It, it's just a multi-purpose field. There's areas for picnicking and of course barbecue pits. And really Mar Vista is a great area for millennials. There's lots of trendy coffee shops, dessert bars, um, dive bars, you name it, it's there. It's very popular. In fact, Two of Mar Vista's really popular uh, locations for eating include Little Fatty and Rustic Kitchen Martin Cafe. Now, like most parts of the city of Los Angeles, Mar Vista has its own farmer's market. This is held on Sundays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., which tends to be what a lot of uh, the areas have to offer. It's at Grand View and Venice Boulevard, and it's literally known as one of the best farmer's markets in Los Angeles. Mar Vista is certainly in high demand when it comes to housing, and this really has everything to do with its location. It's, it's really convenient, it's easy to get to a lot of parts of the city, and it has some historical architecture as we've already gone over. Just a pedestrian friendly city, and it's got a really great transit system running through Mar Vista. So, the time has come for me to go over three properties that are currently on the market at the time of recording this video. So the first one is asking almost a million dollars, it's $965,000, it's located at 2489 South Bundy, it's a two bedroom, two bath home, only 928 square feet on a small lot, 4,558. It's a remodeled property that also has an ADU in the back, so that's pretty cool and adds some value there. The second home is asking almost $2 million, $1,950,000. This is located at 3718 um, Beethoven Street. It's a four bedroom, three bath home, 3,000 square feet. The, large, the lot's a little bit larger, 5,445 square feet. And this is a new construction home. It's got two master suites a large open floor plan, plenty of entertaining space in a backyard. Now, one of the things that is really um, true homes that are new construction on the west side are more expensive than that, what that same home would be in the san fernando valley the difference apart from the price is that in the san fernando valley you tend to get a little bit larger lots but the west side is in higher demand um, more people like the west side because of its convenience to wherever they're working and it's just more expensive overall now, the third property we're gonna talk about is asking $3.9 million. This is located at 3570 Francis Ave. It's a five bedroom, six bathroom home, 3,849 square feet. This lot size is 7,513 square feet, and this is also a new construction home. So you can see the difference in the two new construction homes based on the lot size and the home size and this really should help give you an, an understanding of, of what property is going for right now in Mar Vista. So I wanna thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please go ahead and take a moment to do so. Click that subscribe button below. If you're considering relocating to Los Angeles, or maybe you already live in Southern California and, and you've had a job change and, and you live in the Valley and you're thinking it's time for the West Side, or maybe you're you know further South and, and you're looking at moving up to LA, Mar Vista might be a great area for you to consider and explore. So if you're thinking about relocating to Los Angeles, I have a guide to help you with that process. Just simply click the link below. And I also have a guide for you on Mar Vista. Just follow that link too. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Of course, you can always reach out to me directly. I will see you guys again next time. This is 
winding down the end of 31 neighborhood videos in 31 days here in May of 2020, but I've already decided this isn't going to stop until we've covered all of Los Angeles. So don't worry if your city hasn't or your neighborhood in Los Angeles hasn't been hit yet, it's coming up.